But there we are. You can see, this is the thing. It's, uh, it's so dark at the moment and uh, we're gonna work. And uh, it's absolutely frosty, it's absolutely freezing. And uh, take my hat off to anybody who goes out every day like clockwork in weather like this. It's a clear sky. We've had a good old frost here today in Abervale. It's uh, it's freezing. Well, it's, uh, we've made a substantial amount of progress now. And uh, the reason we've made that substantial amount of progress is because the, the design concept got changed by our client. They wanted to extend, they didn't want the path. And I was a little bit disappointed at first, but now I like it. So we're gonna, there is a change. We're gonna return the wall around the end of the patio. And then we're going to have a small step going down about three to four feet wide and I think that works we've got some cutting to do on this side we've got the wall to render and then we have the coping stone to put it on top and even now even now when we look at that wall and we look at the wall the wall of the house the color of the house once we, we get that the same color and it's good rendered finish and the black coping it's going to bring it together a fantastic design principle as unity this area joining having some cohesiveness with the house i have to admit i have to admit and i have to be honest with you as viewers of the channel with the gauging um, of the joints we lost it little bit in the middle it extended and got a little bit wider probably because sometimes though we've got a fantastic calibration almost perfect almost like porcelain and porcelain can be wrong sometimes with this slate paving we lost it a little bit in the middle and we had to extend the joint just slightly and um, but we got it back and you won't notice it it looks it looks good I'm really really pleased with it you can see even from here how the pattern, this irregular random lay, actually works. I think the reason it's gonna work well in this area, the slate paving, simply because slate doesn't have a high porosity value. It doesn't soak the water up. And when it doesn't soak the water up, it's gonna get less dirty in comparison to some of those sandstones. Unlike limestone, limestone will, will fade after a short period through the sunlight. It will fade through the UV, unlike the slate paving. Can you seal slate paving? Yes, you can. I'm not quite sure about what is the best product out there. And um, I will be speaking to a chemist very, very soon about sealers in paving and what is the best sealers to use. For some reason, people think that water-based sealers are better than the solvent sealers, but actually water-based sealers are more damaging to the environment than solvent sealers, simply because the solvent sealers, they fix and they don't go nowhere. You can get breathable solvent sealers. It gets all a bit complicated, I know, but we have to understand the products that we're working with. I've really enjoyed this job, though it's not over. I'm really be beginning the progress, enjoying the progress as we approach the end of this project, simply because 
it's really exciting, it's coming together. We've done things correctly, we've got the riser straight. Look how the riser drops down well below the height of the paving. And that's to ensure that we don't end up with, okay, little bits of paving showing. It's dropped down underneath, so we've got that flexibility in height when we're working. It's so important. Look, there's lots to be said about this. I'm really, really into it. I'm really passionate and really enthusiastic uh, about using this product, product, this product again. And uh, that's why they use slates on roofs is because it can cope with wet conditions. Certainly in Wales and where we are now, the Welsh Valleys, it definitely needs. You definitely need something that can cope with the inclement weather conditions. Well, look, you can see I'm mesmerized even by this, having 36, 37 years of lane paving. I'm actually over the moon with this product and I'm still enjoying the process. I forgot to say, if you've enjoyed the video, just give us a big thumbs up and uh, don't forget to press the notification button. But if you enjoy it really more, just subscribe to the channel. And remember, if you need any advice, uh, is there anything I can help you with, just drop us an email at info at greentoplandscapes.co.uk and I'll get back to you. And don't forget mine, in the very near future, we're gonna be doing a call in where you'll be able to call and speak to me and we'll be able to talk about your landscape and progress. So apart from that, have a great weekend and remember, be safe.